think I'd get them started again. You know, and some of the habits of getting to acquire week one, you know, you kind of forgot a few of those things. But, you know, you just got to, it, it happens during the season, too. You play a game on Saturday, and then Sunday off, and Monday, you got to stress once again, you know, things are important in the program. But, uh, they've done a good job. I, I've been very pleased with uh, the student athletes and how they've uh, embraced change. You know, that's difficult sometimes for guys 18 to 22, but they've, they've been sensational. Well, it, just watching you guys go about your business today, it's, it's a fast pace, it's a high energy. Yeah. That's always been kind of your style. Yeah, you know, we want to be very organized. We don't want to waste time. We, we're, we're not out here for, you know, some people come out and practice for three hours. And they probably should only been out there an hour. You know, we're out here two hours. We're trying to get something done at all times during practice. And, and uh, you know, it's all, there's always time to coach. I think I've got a really good staff. And we take time out during practice to coach a little bit too. You know, we got to, we finish a drill and there's two minutes on the on the clock before the next period begins. I want our guys coaching. Them. They've done a great job of that. Total buy-in, it seems like from the get-go. Uh, on the short time you've been here, these players they, they listen and they want to respond. Yeah, they, they've been great. You know, I mean, I, I'm just I'm very uh, brutally honest with them, and, and they, they uh, respect and accept that. And, and, you know, I've had next to zero issues. You know, and, and they've been they've been outstanding. I've, I've really enjoyed working with these guys. I've I've come in in a lot of these situations, and it hasn't always been that way. You know, you, you, you've had some uh, difficulties maybe when you first got there. You know, changing things. You know, to, to the way you're doing it. And uh, you know, these guys have been great. Anything specific that you've been pleased with through these first? few practices? I, you know, the big thing for me right now, for me, it's, it's choreographic practice and making sure we understand what's going on. And, you know, I, I really don't get to see what happened in practice until I can come out and watch the videotape. I'm just making sure we're all on the same page. And, you know, I'm not able to do as much coaching right now, specifically with guys, but more the whole unit, the whole team, you know, and, and uh, you know, so just, you know, like we've talked about already, they've just been very, uh, They've embraced change. They've, they've done a good job of that. It's probably the number one thing. Oh, you know, we, we, we may have half our stuff in, okay. something like that. So we had to almost kind of start over again after taking a week off. Right. And uh, so I, I think by, by practice 15, we'll, we'll have you know, 75, 80% of our stuff in. It's been a somebody. big deal. I've always done that every place I've ever gone. Uh, you know they're they're the uh, you know they're, they're they're the foundation of the program. All the guys that played for you. Know, I'm, I've got a, a guy that played for me four years in two lanes with the Philadelphia Eagles. I met Greg the other night. And I called him and asked him about Greg Moore. And he was saying, what, a, what a great guy. And Greg said the same thing about him. And, you know, Pepe's out here. And David's getting ready to go to the big uh, NFL deal coming up. We've had a lot of guys who've been out here in practice. And, uh, we're going to have a big uh, re uh, reunion with all the alums, uh, former Letterman, on Friday, April the 12th. And uh, we've sent a bunch of, of uh, uh, literature out to them about it. And, uh, I think we'll have a huge crowd. I think we'll have you know, two, three hundred guys that will come back. So it's always neat. I, I love hearing stories. I'm, I'm a football junkie, so I love hearing stories about Coach Yeoman and you know, what he did. And, you know, Coach Sumlin and Coach Herman and all the great coaches that have been here at the University of Houston. I'm trying to get some of those coaches back, too. Well, you know, years ago I went to a clinic and I, uh, you know, a guy named Don James spoke. You know, and, uh, he was at the University of Washington won a national championship there. And he talked about if you want to become a head coach, you got to have a philosophy. And uh, this was before I was a head coach. It was when I was an assistant with Coach Randleman at uh, Sam Houston State. Randy was there at that time. But, uh, uh, you know, one of the things we talked about is you know, with the turnover takeaway margin, 186% of our days are plus one or better. You know, with a rushing game, stopping the run, being able to run the ball when everybody in the ballpark knows it. We had one more yard rushing than our opponent with 189%. You know, and we talk about it's one of the special teams. You see the emphasis we put on that. Cougs don't beat the Cougs. That's just not having those, those stupid penalties that you know, are manufactured by us. You know, 12 guys on the field. You know, a guy getting a rolling start. Somebody 
lining up in the neutral zone, whatever the case may be. So we're trying to eliminate those as best we can. And, and when that happens, I should hear everybody get cooked up with the kids.
Grab, jump, jump. 